Top 10 Richest Women in the World. Welcome one more time to your channel. Be ready to watch extraordinary people with amazing talents. If you are not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello amazing people, in today's video, we are going to be asking and answering, who are the richest women within the world? Most of the main focus is generally on men, but what about the wealthiest women? Can you even hazard a guess on who you think visiting up here on this list, you'll be able to probably consider the richest men, like Enterprises, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Amancio Ortega, but no women. Let's know during this video, where we list the highest 10 richest women within the world as of 2020. Many of those women are heiresses to their parents' fortunes and have seized their father's companies. Others have built businesses themselves from the bottom up. Let's take a look. 10th place, Abigail Johnson. Net worth, $10.8 billion. Abigail Pierrepint Johnson is the, the president and CEO of Fidelity Investments, American multinational financial services company, and chairman of Fidelity International, an overseas sister corporation. Johnson began her career as a portfolio manager at Fidelity Investments, an organization founded by her grandfather, and is additionally a graduate from the Harvard Grad School. Upon entering the position of president and CEO status and having an organization share of 49% in 2014, we can term her self-made. She was eventually appointed chairman of the group in 2016. The same year, Forbes put her in 16th position and 34th place in 2014, ranking her that point among the as richest women in America. 9th place, Gina Reinhart. Net worth, $13.1 billion. Gina Reinhart is Australian mining magnate and chairman of the private extraction and company Hancock Prospecting, founded by her late father, Lang Hancock. How did she make her fortune? From our research, we can term Gina Reinhart because of the richest self-made woman within the world. Because Gina doesn't have a standard heritage background or may be called an heiress, because she is the, the one who after her father passed bravely taken on and rebuilt the bankrupt iron ore company. Forbes declared Gina to be the world's wealthiest woman in 2012, but this year in 2020, she is in eighth position. Gina still has plans to expand her company while she loves traveling the planet together with her $80 million private jets, no attempt to stop. Eighth place, Laureen Powell Jobs. Net worth, $15.8 billion. Laureen Powell Jobs is the, the widow and heir of Steve Jobs, co-founder and former CEO of Apple Inc. What makes her one in every of the richest women within the world? Laureen Powell Jobs currently owns 38.5 million shares of Apple and a stake of 8% of Disney Company. Apart from that, she is Emerson Collective's founder. Emerson Collective could be a social impact organization that supports policies on the reform of education and immigration, social justice, and environmental protection. She is additionally the co-founder and president of the School Track Board, which trains disadvantaged students for faculty. 7th place, Suzanne Clatton. Net worth, $17.1 billion. Suzanne Hannah Ursula Clatton is the, the daughter of Herbert and Johanna Quant. She is the richest woman in Germany. How she inherited her wealth and still maintains it. Today, 57 years old, German-born businesswoman, mother of three, and also one in every of the most important shareholders in BMW, control over 19% of one of the most important automobile maker, and also the world's largest luxury car producer. Yet Suzanne is behind her brother Stefan Quant in terms of shareholding in BMW, as he owns over 23% of the firm. As an entrepreneur, Suzanne's success doesn't depend upon the most privately held corporation. Over the years, she has focused on Altana Ag, an internationally recognized drug company founded by her grandfather. On her father's death, 
she inherited his 50.1% stake in pharmaceutical and chemical manufacturer Altana. To date, she is chairman and sole proprietor of Altana AG, which is alleged to come up with $2.5 million annually in revenue. Sixth place, Yang Huyan. Net worth, $21.7 billion. Yang Huyan is that the daughter of Yun Kwa Kyung, who founded Country Garden Holdings, the development developer of Guangdong, China. How did she become the richest woman in China? At a young age of 25, in 2007, when she inherited 70% of her father's assets, to become one amongst the wealthiest women within the world. Now at the age of 38, in 2020, she still holds the title with 57% of the event company's shares. According to the South China Morning Post, Country Garden is that the country's largest property developer by sales. Yang also chairs the Intense Scholar Education Holdings, China's largest global and bilingual K-12 school provider. Together with her aunt Yang Mairong, she owns 92.59% of the education firm. Fifth place, Jacqueline Mars. Net worth, $24.2 billion. Jacqueline Mars is that the granddaughter of the most important candy maker within the world Frank C. Mars, and also the successor of the corporate who holds around 30% of the stake within the company. How did she make it? She began to figure within the company, as till 2001 Foodstuff Group president so serving as a member of boards till 2016. Currently, the chairman of the board of directors is her son, Stephen Badger. Mars is additionally a renowned philanthropist who is president of the Mars Foundation and has made significant contributions to the Australian Outback Doctors and National Symphony. She also sits on six boards, including the National Archives and within the Smithsonian. Mars family, third richest family within the US after Waltons and Coke, together with Jacqueline her granddaughters Marijke Mars, Victoria Mars, and Valerie Mars, also called Mars Sisters, own Mars Incorporated. Fourth place, Mackenzie Bezos. Net worth, $36.8 billion. Mackenzie Bezos ranks as fourth world richest woman with a net worth of $37 billion after having a divorce from Amazon founder and richest man within the world, Jeff Bezos. Mackenzie announced from a newly created Twitter account that she goes retain 25% of the couple's holdings in Amazon, or about 4% of the whole company, considering Amazon's current share price, it's approximately $37 billion. Her ex-husband Jeff Bezos is worth $117 billion in line with Forbes' real-time rankings, making him still $13 billion wealthier than the second richest person within the world, Bill Gates. In January 2020, she reportedly unloaded her shares at the worth of $350 million. In May last year, she also signed the Giving Pledge and promised to donate a minimum of half her wealth. Mackenzie when Amazon was started, together with her husband, was heavily involved in Amazon's operations until 1997, when she made her way back to writing two fiction novels, Luther Albright, 2005, and Traps, 2013. Third place, Julia Koch. Net worth, $41.2 billion. She is the wife of the late billionaire industrialist David Koch, and a crucial member of one of the foremost powerful families and richest people in America, Koch family. What's behind her net worth? Julia Flesher Koch inherited billions with an estimated $53.5 billion fortune after her late husband's death in August 2019. By Forbes estimates that her wealth is considerably less at $43 billion, which, after Francoise Betancourt Myers and Alice Walton, would make her the third richest woman within the world. Julia Koch and her three children, David, Mary Julia, and John Mark, inherited a 41% stake in Koch Industries. She is the, the chair of the David H. Koch Foundation, which has provided over $200 million in funding for science, medical research, education, and far more. 
Hope could be a passionate artist and formerly a member of the College of Yankee Ballet and chair of the American Ballet Theater and also the 1998 Met Gala. Second place, Alice Walton. Net worth, $51.3 billion. Alice Walton is that the late Walmart founder Sam Walton's daughter and sister of Yankee businessmen John Walton, Robson Walton, and Jim Walton. Alice Walton, with a net worth of $51.3 billion, is that the richest woman within the U.S. Another female member of the Walton family, her sister-in-law, Christy Walton, also ranks among the richest female billionaires after her husband, Alice Walton's brother, John T. Walton, died in an exceedingly plane crash. Unlike her brothers, Alice Walton doesn't have a significant role within the Walmart Corporation. But she is a patron to artists and is additionally often involved in philanthropy. She is additionally the founder and chairman of the Museum of Yankee Art of Crystal Bridges, which she established in 2011. In 2017, Walton founded the Art Bridges Nonprofit Foundation to expand the nation's awareness of Yankee modern art. First place, Francoise Betancourt Myers. Net worth, $54.7 billion. Francoise Betancourt Myers is that the granddaughter of L'Oreal's founder, Eugene Schuler, and daughter of Lillianne Betancourt. How did she get her money? Francoise Myers owns 33% of L'Oreal, the most important manufacturer of cosmetics worldwide. She inherited the state from her mother, Lillianne Betancourt, who led the business until her death in 2017 and also held the identical spot as her daughter Francoise today holds. The L'Oreal Corporation could be a big corporation that owns Garnier and Lancome like brands. She is additionally an accomplished writer as she wrote three novels that supported the Greek god. Francoise was already playing a significant role in managing the fortune of her family because of the head of her fund and because of the chairman of the Betancourt Schuler Foundation. Nonetheless, it was not a straightforward task of handling her mother's corporation. Considering her ownership and assets in L'Oreal and other investments, Francoise Betancourt Myers is the richest woman within the world right away in 2020. Thanks for spending some time with us amazing people, make sure to like and subscribe to don't miss any other videos, we also handpicked these videos which we recommend you to watch next, you can talk to us in social media, thank you for being an amazing person and hope to have you back tomorrow.